Smash that like button. Smash. You too. What did they do? It's your boy Low. Yo, make sure you dig what I'm saying. I can control it in this video today. I'm gonna be telling y'all the different ways to do dreads. You dig what I'm saying? I'm like, but you know what I'm saying? Um, today I'll be talking about how to start dreads with the crochet hook method. If y'all may not know, the crochet hook, I don't have it with me, so I'll probably just show it on the list. The crochet hook is basically this tool that has like a needle, a needle and like a hook with it. And basically, its purpose is to basically you grab a string, you poke the needle through, it has the hook, it'll grab the hair on the like say like yeah. it will grab the hair on the outer end pull it up and pull it in towards the hair on the other side basically it's like a method that will cause your hair to basically knit up and stitch up together which causes it to lock quicker now it's called the instant lock method technically yes you will get instant locks but it's not it's not to say your hair would just instantly just become dreads like your hair will automatically get like, you know, the dread like look, but still with any method you do, you still kind of have to go through the process. But with the instant lock method, you don't have to really go through much because your hair will probably lock in, I'd say like weeks to a month, maybe two months max. So the crochet needle method, I would say the best time to really use a crochet needle method, you need to have at least three inches of hair, three inches or more. Because if you have two inches, you don't really have enough hair to really do it. I suggest to use this method when you have long hair. Like I said, three inches, really more like four to five inches is really the best time. If you have like incredibly long like afro hair, like say this, y'all might think this is long, medium, whatever. This is short. This is short right here. This length, you can crochet needle it, but I wouldn't suggest even crochet needling it at this point. I say... If you're going the two strand twist or finger coil method, the best thing to do is literally just yeah, go through the process, literally go through the locking process for at least three to four months, maybe even five months. Get your hair to the point where it actually starts locking up. Then maybe after one of the retwists, just don't get a retwist for a couple of months. When you get like a lot of new growth, I'm talking about a lot of new growth, that'll probably be the best time to use the crochet needle and it'll basically store up all that hair into the lock and it'll stitch it together so it'll just become a solid lock. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. If y'all use the crochet needle method, your hair is going to feel very stiff. It's going to look stiff, especially when you have like long hair and stuff. You might get used to, you know, your hair laying down when you do two strands, twist braids and stuff. When you do the crochet needle method, your hair is gonna stand up a little bit. Like mine's kind of, you know, standing up fluffy, but I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna stand up even more than that. It's going to be very, very stiff because that's what basically it does. It really just stiffens your hair, but you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna look weird at first, but it's going to gradually hang down. If anything, you can wash it and it'll automatically just feel normal all over again. And yeah, with the stiffness, your hair texture will feel a little different once you get the crochet, once you use the crochet needle method as well. But it's all good. It's all a part of the process. Now, if you want to cheat, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go through the ugly stage or you already have long hair and you just want to straight get dressed. You know, if you have long hair, you can still get finger coils, but you'll still have to go through the process. Your hair may lock faster, may lock longer. But with instant lock, like say you just want to just straight get dressed, it's the best way to go. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as switching from styles to styles, like I said, if you have two strand twists, finger coils, even free forms. If you have free forms and you want your free forms to turn to regular dreads, you can crochet needle it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably wouldn't suggest crochet needle because I guess because it's thickness. I don't really know why people wouldn't suggest crochet needle. I mean, me personally, I would do it. I want my hair to actually, you know, you see how my hair looks like very like natural light? Like I like that. Like I don't want the really stiff like look. I mean, it's it's cool or whatever when my hair gets long, but right here I want to go through the stages. I don't know if you want to call this the ugly stage. I like this stage though. But yeah. Use the crochet needle. You poke the needle in and out. Um if you guys want to know 
I don't technically have a tutorial, but I do have a video when I was crocheting you and my friend's hair. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see what type of work the crochet needle does and how it can help you with your locks. If you have free forms, it's probably one of the best options to do if you have free forms and you just wanna like uniform your hair, but also, also still be able to keep that free formish look because even if you crochet your hair with free forms, um, just crushing nearly every couple months, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, your hair could look locked, it could hang down and everything, but anybody can freeform, honestly. Like, even if you get your hair professionally done, all you gotta do is just go a long time without retwisting your hair, wash it and everything, your hair is gonna stand up. Like, like. And it's true, because my friend has, like, way longer hair than me. His hair is reaching, like, his ears and stuff, but he still manages to get it freeform. So, anybody can really freeform your hair. It just depends, like, how long do you go without a retwist the next time? But yeah, that's crochet kneeling. If you want to instantly lock your hair, if you don't want to wait the stages, you can crochet and kneel your hair. I suggest the best time to do it is to have at least four inches of hair. It's the best method to do for longer hair. If you have short hair, like mine or shorter, and you want to do crochet and kneeling, I'm not gonna lie, you either gonna have to grow your hair out for a year plus, do whatever style, two strand twists, finger coils, and then crochet needle, or not even. You could just literally just section out your hair and crochet needle, just try to finger coil it and crochet needle it. Or you can actually, you know, have your hair whatever way, like, you know, you probably be free forming, whatever, have super long hair and just crochet needle it to, like, you know, just really just fix it up, really. That is another different way how you can start locks with the crochet needle method. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know down below. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, because you know we're coming up with more of these videos. I'm gonna make more hair videos, so you know, really leave a comment down below about what you guys want, because I'm gonna start taking off with this, you know, with the little hair journey, but that cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boy, shaking a little hang time, a little hang time, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm signing off. It is your boy Low. No one in the cut, you did what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, you gone. Don't settle for less. They try to spot me up. Hand me another cut. But I don't give a fuck. I know Ben's running up.